All right, it's Turbo Cellboard with part three, how to, and we'll switch to, to game in Linux. All right, so here's uh, we the first part we showed you how to make a live uh, live USB that's bootable. Second part we showed you how to how to change your BIOS so that you'll actually go into uh, Linux instead of just defaulting to Windows. So now I'm going to show you how to actually install it. So first off, this is a live USB environment. It lets you test out the distro. It works just like I kid you not. It works just like the actual distro that you you know the Linux that you want to use, except and it's very very important. Uh, it doesn't have a hard drive, so it's relying on the USB, so it's a hell of a lot slower. So I am going to install this on an NMVE drive, um, so don't worry about none of that. But see, here we go. We got all our stuff. Is the Firefox is working. All right, so I want to, let's say I'm, I know what I want. I want to install it on this computer. So what do I got to do? Nice thing about all of them who use a live uh, disk, they go, oh, install a hard drive right there. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Now... I've uh, this is a 15 year old machine and there's been a lot of janky driver updates to make it accept an NMVE. So this may not work on the first try, but that's OK, because this was, was all about learning. All right. So the nice thing here, this is so fucking easy now. They made everything easy. God, God bless uh, the Internet, I guess. So here we go. We got two options. Uh, I got a NMVE 01 and I got SDA. So this is the actual hard drive that's in the computer. This is my new NMVE, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Now you can do all kinds of like crazy stuff, um, but I'm not gonna do that because I a I'm not doing any kind of weird setup on this computer, and b if you're trying this out for the first time, you're not gonna you're just gonna want automatic. All right. Now the one thing I don't like about how Fedora does this is up to this point, it's like all been down here, right? Like oh I'll just I'll just click that button there. No, nope, no, no. On Fedora they're like, "Okay, you selected your hard drive. Great. Now hit done. It's up here." <laughs> I just UI designers, there's a better way. <laughs> All right. So now we've selected the drive. It's going to do the partitioning itself. You can do the partitioning manually. I don't have I I only do that if I'm like doing a retro system because uh most I I trust it to do a better job than me most of the time. Let's begin the installation. Because I'm using a NMVE, uh, the local on the computer is going to be quite fast. The downside is I'm installing from USB, so I'm stuck with whatever the USB's got, right? So this is a USB 3.0, but keep in mind, this is I had some trouble with the live drive, uh, the USB 2.0, so I upgraded to 3.0, uh, but its read-write speed isn't great. So, you know, like a lot of USBs, the limitation is the flash memory at this point so it's just not as fast it could be faster but i mean what do you get as a 15 year old usb you can get what you get all right now i'll just edit this out here don't worry about it all right so it's installed the bootloader so it's about done uh so then we'll just go ahead and be resetting the computer shortly i remember installing windows 95 and it was way faster than this you could reinstall windows 95 in like 10 minutes that's a lie actually if you had a really good cd drive you could do it um, but beyond that, mm -mm, it's going to take a little longer. Did Windows 95 come out on floppies? I, I bet there was a floppy version. All right. Well, there we go. Now it's doing a bunch of stuff. It's generating in it, in it tramps. I don't know what that is, but it's generating them. So it's just doing its thing. It's almost done. I know the bar is only like halfway, but it's installed most of the software. So it's going to start really picking up here in a second. Oh, it's it's running post installation scripts. I don't know what that is. A cleaning up. I don't know. This is a one terabyte drive, so there's a lot of free room that it could just fill with with random data. I guess. Do 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 do. do. I get so bored so easy. All right, so now it's finished installing. So what I'm gonna have to do, uh, go ahead and reboot your system to start using it. There's one more thing you gotta do when you uh, do an installation like this, and that is of course to change the boot order. So what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to go up here. We're going to go restart, and it's going to say, you want to restart? I'm going to be like, yeah. But right now, I don't I don't know which one it's going to try to boot from. I don't want it to boot from USB. I want it to boot from the NMVE. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go over here. We're going to go to the one-time boot menu. I'm going to go to BIOS again. So remember that video? I Real quick, I showed you, like, oh, this is how you get it to boot into live environment right well now what we got to do is we got to change the boot order so that it doesn't do the int um so hold up 
Where is the boot menu? There it is. Haha, -ha, found it. All right, so it's got one for Fedora. So that's good. It can see it. I was really worried that wouldn't show up. So that's new. That didn't exist before. But we're going to go BIOS setup and we're going to go boot sequence and we're, we're going to turn off the UEFI. We want Fedora to go first. All right. So now I'm just going to I'm going to uncheck it. I'm going to hit apply and then I'm going to go ahead and exit. And now what should happen is it should just straight up boot in there and it should be pretty fast. I mean, it's got a reset. And in this chipset, man, it's a 14-year-old computer, so I think the chipset's going to be slower than the than the NMVE 4.0 I stuck in there. Um, and if you're wondering why this image keeps coming up, I pulled the password jumper off of there for various reasons. Uh, so it's just going to whine about it all the time. <laughs>